it is time as we welcome you into one of the most anticipated matchups at the John Wall in recent years. It's a top 15 matchup, not just in the state of North Carolina, but in the United States as Prolific Prep set to take on Combine Academy. And we will turn it down to the floor quickly for the national anthem before we get things going. A beautiful rendition of the national anthem, and what a better way to get things started. It's a packed house here at Holiday Gym, and Miles, I'll turn it right over to you for yeah. the analysis of this one. For sure, Combine Academy, prolific prep, prolific. Was in a dogfight yesterday with the Cannon School. Austin Swartz gave him all they could handle, but prolific found a way to persevere. The big fella in the middle, Mike DeRocco, was outstanding. I think he went eight for eight from the floor. And then you look at the backcourt duo, Trey Green, Aiden Holloway. They took their turns, having their dance, and what they did was magical. Holloway fouled out late in the fourth quarter. Trey Green carried him home. It was an absolute battle, and Bruce Pearl is courtside checking out his future point guard. And for Combine Academy kind of transitioning into them, they dominated over Greenfield after a crazy travel schedule that led them coming into the game very, very late um, at night, coming into Raleigh and getting up and playing a game against a talented Greenfield school that they dominated. Silas Demery Jr. was orchestrating plays. Trenton Flowers and Rakeese Passmore were great. Colin Tanner was good. And Mason Hagerdorn had a breakout performance. Now we'll see how they do against arguably one of the top teams in America. And it's going to be a battle. we got two Charlotte kids playing against the most notable school in the Charlotte area for basketball at this point in time. And it is going to be one of those games that is just this event is known for. Dave, about to turn it to you for the play-by-play. -play. Let's get it. Prolific Prep undefeated, 15-0. ESPN has them ranked as the top prep school in the nation and number seven overall. Combine Academy, one loss coming very recently to Hunting St. Joseph in West Virginia. But don't let that fool you. The 18-1 GOATs ranked 15th in the nation. Starting lineups continuing to be announced. Combine, the traditional look, almost the Minnesota Timberwolf-esque vibe. And prolific in the black jerseys with the neon green outline. The first year of Ryan Bernardi, who many consider to be one of the best, youngest head coaches in the nation. And Mike Wright taking things over for Combine. His first year in Lincolnton, North Carolina. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. And um, the namesake of the bracket, T.J. Warren, Tony Buckets, has just checked in to the building. This has been a big time, big time day, and it just got bigger. One of the Hoop State's brightest stars in recent years has checked in for this one. We are about to have a time at Holiday Gymnasium. There isn't a player on the floor without a D1 offer. Two super teams about to go at it. Here we go, man. Here we go. Good to see Kendall Campbell back out there. Two was questionable about his status. Didn't play yesterday for Combine. They'll need him in the middle with the size of Eve Missy and uh, Mike DeWoco in the middle. Here we go. Prolific. Gets things started. The black and neon kits are crispy. 
continuing to swing it around the perimeter. Trey Green working back towards his right. Trey Green up to the cup. And the putback from the big man, Missy. Eve Missy, big time athlete. Just announced he'd be committing January 4th. Long list of suitors for him. One of the top players in the 2024 class. And there was some potential buzz about a 2023 reclassification for him. There is Kendall Campbell. He takes his first cut. We're giving it up to Demery. Round to Trey Flowers. Now to Rakees Passmore. Demery Jr. shifting directions back towards his left. The jumper in the paint gets it for the tie. Silas Demery Jr., Raleigh's own, gets combine on the board with a pull-up jumper. If the jump shot's falling, he's a tough check, as he is almost every night. Aiden Holloway, top 25 guys in the nation, gives it up to Missy. Missy too strong off the window. Holloway came sweeping in. Green picks it right back up. Both Green. teams are really competing right now. The long two falls for Trey Green. Trey Green in and out in rhythm. Paul, easy money. We've seen him do that for years. Green getting physical on Rakees Passmore. Passmore into the paint. The dump off to Campbell on the baseline. He's trapped. Missy takes it right away. Yeah, he got stuck there a little too deep. Here comes Trey Green the other way to his brother Holloway. Holloway behind the back was looking for a step. Demery Jr. covered it up. Aiden Holloway still trying to find a passage. Demery is one of the best perimeter defenders in the country. He and Drake Power are cut from the same cloth in that department. Passmore right around him is Trey Green, but it rolls off the front of the rim. That would have been crazy if Trey Green was able to get that to go. He was spinning like a top on the court. Here comes Flowers the other way. Flowers cutting it back, giving it up to Passmore. And Tyron Stokes is yapping at Trenton Flowers right now. This is a big time matchup. Stokes, one of the best freshmen in the country. One of the most athletic guys that you'll see on the floor regardless of class. Campbell picks it up, drops it to Passmore, cuts Passmore the kick to Demery Jr. Silas Demery Jr. is off the mark, but he draws the foul. Yeah, there was some contact there. I don't think Holloway likes it, but he just got too much in his grill that was a big time, big time play. And now Silas Demery has three free throws to tie or give combined lead. Silas Demery, the four star, committed to USC. Other offers from NC State, Tennessee, just to name a few. Sits with 14 points a game. The average coming into the tournament. And Demery knocks the first one down. Yeah, Silas has been very consistent from the line this year. I remember the first game of the year, I think we had Lincoln Charter. He was, I want to say, 15 for 16 from the line. Like, it was kind of absurd the way he was hitting free throws. Team as a whole shooting 73%. He'll hit the first two. So that brings us back to a tie ball game. Kendall Campbell will head into the backcourt, switch with Trey Flowers. Yeah, Trenton Flowers, going to need a big performance from him tonight. All three up and good. Silas Demery Jr. gets the lead for the Goats. Yep, the man wearing five for Combine's got all five of them. Asa White, lots of pressure on Aiden Holloway. Able to get it up to Missy. Tipped in the air by Demery Jr. Missy pulls it right back down and gives it up to Holloway. The Auburn commit gives it up to Missy. Into Michael Nuoko. He stands at the edge of the paint. Demery Jr. closes off Holloway, gets a screen. Holloway spinning around. Aiden Holloway got just a, has to back yeah, it up. No, they got a mismatch here. He's going to go right at Asa White. One on one on Asa White, spinning back to the right. The shot from the paint, and it misses everything. Trent Flowers comes down with it. Asa did a great job staying with him. Here's a cut from Demery Jr. to Rakees. Pass more for three. Pass more from deep. When he's making that shot, he is difficult to stop. A confident one from one of the top juniors in the country. Prolific. How can they respond? It's a 6-0 run for Combine. Green inching around. Pass more. Throws it up off the glass. And Trey Green, another the fantastic finish. Trey Green, what a finish. The acrobatic ability, undersized, but over delivers. Demery Jr. separation off the front of the rim. Mesa White over four combined of, or four prolific defenders. That is a big time put back from Asa White, giving Combine really good minutes early. Holloway. 
Little head out of bounds. Trey Green gives it into Nwoko. Asa White up in his face. Nwoko backing down Asa White. Mike Nwoko showing the low post touch. Who was great in the dunker spot yesterday. We'll need a little more from him tonight with the size combine has. Pass more around Green, gives it up to Campbell. The physical attempt, it won't go. Second chance effort, Kendall brings it down. Combine is playing with so much intensity right now, especially you see it on the glass. They want this one so, so bad. Colin Tanner coming in off the bench. What a luxury it is to have him come into the game. Colin Tanner started yesterday's game. The 6'6 senior committed to Richmond. Total of five different Division I offers. Yeah, he's, he's going to be so good in the A-10. Emory Jr. just has to get it in, just in time. Yeah, Passmore sometimes will struggle with smaller guards when guarded off the dribble. We'll see what he does with Trey Green here. Passmore at the top of the key. He loses it, recollects it, gives it up to Trenton Flowers. He can't handle it. He'll settle it down. We'll see what we got. This is a big-time matchup right here, two future pros. Stokes guarding Trenton Flowers closely. Up to Asa White, the kick for three. The splash down from Colin Tanner. He's a, he's a guy you can't help off of, people. You can't help off. You may be able to flash, but you can't, you can't completely commit. He makes you pay with the corner three. Holloway trying to go to the bucket. The shot just outside the paint falls. Aiden Holloway is an elite shot maker, doing it in front of his future head coach, showing why he's elite. 13 to 10, back to a one possession game. Silas Demery Jr. up to Tanner. Colin Tanner from the wing gives it up to Flowers. Moves towards the corner. Flowers, the long two, and a foul. Yeah, yeah. There's some contact there. Prolific bench doesn't like it. They're saying he's kicking. And now Trenton Flowers can get his. Scoring started from the free throw line. We'll see what he's able to do. Combine moved on to the second round, the semifinal of the TJ Warren bracket over, over after a running clock victory over Greenfield. And like you had mentioned, Miles, in the beginning, prolific prep in a shootout with Cannon ended up drawing it out right at the end. Both these teams hoping to move on to the championship to face Word of God. Flowers knocks down the second. Two big free throws, 15-10 lead. And they bring in Zion Sensley, who's a big time player off the bench in the 2024 class. Sensley over on the left. They gotta, they gotta give it to Nwoko right now. It's a bad matchup. The three ball from Trey Green off the mark. What a rebound from Demery Jr. Here he goes, eyes up. Silas gives it up. It's a kick into the left corner. And it was way too long. Big game, Demery, man. Every time the lights are the brightest, he's at his best. Demery entering from the wing, finding a man off the baseline, losing it on the way up was Colin Tanner. Good recovery there to make sure everything was contested at the, at the rim by Prolific after getting beat off the dribble initially by Demery. He's the Negadorn into the game. Yeah, he was great yesterday. Kind of a breakout type performance, but we'll see what he does today. He Dif showed out in garbage time. It's a different time. level of competition. Could be a big time opportunity for him if he plays well. Holloway. Directing prolific. It's a screen from Nuoko. Has to back it right back out. Gives it to Trey Green. Green around Demery Jr. to the baseline. And up and in. Big finish. If Amara Debo. Yeah, his first bucket. Yeah, it's actually pronounced Dabo. That was a big time, big time finish for him. Here's a three that rattles out. Yeah, Flowers. You want him taking that shot, it's a confident thing for him to be able to pull up like that. Holloway working off Passmore. He is dancing right now. He might be able to go at this one. Holloway weaves through the paint trying to go for the reverse and he's fouled. He is an absolute wizard with the basketball in his hands going all the way to the cup, has acrobat, abil acrobatic ability unlike many. And uh, 
we'll see what he's able to do here at the line, trying to narrow the prolific deficit a little bit. Aiden Holloway originally from right here in North Carolina. Committed to Auburn, 14 different Division I offers for him. Michael Nwoko will get some much needed rest as Missy comes back into the game. And Holloway hits. Able to split. Big possession here for Combine, been a little dry lately. Raheese Passmore, Trey Green in his grill. Gives it up to Silas Demery Jr. Yeah, Trey Green's doing a really good job containing Passmore off the dribble. Demery, the kick, Hagedorn, he hit a bunch of threes in yesterday's game, couldn't connect on his first here. Yeah, wasn't able to connect on that one. Could be a situation where he gets a few of those looks tonight. Here, oh, here they come the other way. Flowers the one-on-one, -on -one. Flowers the easy lay. Yeah, I think he wanted to lob it up to pass more, but Holloway was kind of baiting him into doing something. He just said, I'll take the easy two, combine up by four. 25 seconds left in the first. It's been an electric one. The level of focus from Coach Wright and his staff in this game is beyond noticeable. They want this one with everything they got. Holloway switches back. The shot, two feet off the three-point line, and he knocks it down. What a shot by Holloway around the screen. Like I said, a wizard with the ball. Demery Jr. kicks it to a wide open man in the corner at the buzzer, the knockdown from Colin Tanner. A big way to finish the first for Combine Academy. They lead by four. Yep, absolutely. Big time stretch here for Combine Academy to close the half. And we'll be back with you guys in just a little bit. I think we're about to turn it to Anthony Simmons here for a quick quarter breakdown. Simmons, we'll turn it to you here in just a second. What a high-level contest we have here. End of the first quarter, 20 to 16 combine. It has been a dog fight early. Colin Tanner with a big three-point shot at the end of the first quarter to put combine up for Trey Green doing his thing early. Biz doing his thing early. Right now, both teams are filling each other out. I think we're going to start to understand the strategies of both coaches and see both teams make adjustments here in the second quarter. Whoever has this lead at halftime will have a distinct advantage. But the star stars are coming out. John Wall, TJ Warren bracket, game two, we're back at the end of the second quarter. Here we go. Second quarter underway. What a shot that was from Colin Tanner to knock that down. They needed that response after Holloway hit the tough one. And now the second quarter is about to be underway. Dave, I'll turn it right back to you. Just showing the big time playmaking ability. Colin Tanner. And with Kendall Campbell healthy, what a weapon off the bench. Cool. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. Like, Combine, they're just deep with like very, very competent and formidable players that provide a different element for you. So if you can bring Tanner off the bench, have him stretch the floor, game changer. And then Prolific feels the same way about a kid in Zion Sense. He just hasn't gotten going yet. That could be a big one. Green opens with a shot for three, picks up his own rebound. Trey Green weaving through traffic. Yeah. Mike was upset with the no travel call and the fact that his team couldn't get that rebound. Pass more. Almost had it taken away, but there's a big block for Prolific. What a play by Stokes. Here comes the freshman. Stokes brings it up the court before giving it to Holloway. Right back to Stokes. Looking for the right-handed finish. Draws the foul. <laughs> Tyron Stokes is letting everybody know who he is. That was a grown man take, and he is popping his you-know-what after that and one going to the line with a chance to give Prolific a lead. Tyron Stokes, 6'7", forward, only a freshman. Way off at the line, never hit the rim. Be combine basketball. So we stay at a tie, 20 to 20. Good start for Prolific for the quarter. See what Demery Jr. gets. Rakees Passmore, weaves his way around. To Trenton Flowers, now to Colin Tanner, the hot hand from beyond the arc, misses this one. Yeah, two for four for Tanner on the game, love the 50% from three any day of the week. 
Holloway oh. gets a screen around Hagedorn. Holloway, the backdoor finish won't go. Demery Jr. to Rakees Passmore, the dribble, the shot, and Passmore way overshoots it. Yeah, put way too much on it. Should have shot the first one. Stokes running coast to coast. It's blocked. Combine back down the other way. Able to have some numbers. Hagedorn couldn't find it. He's got to go left hand there. Uh-oh. Missy, the big time jam. That's the why first. He stopped 15 for a reason, man. He stopped 15 for a reason. Go ahead, Dave. You got it, brother. The first big time dunk of the game. Comes from Yiz Messi. Excited to see where Missy decides to go. Hagedorn for three. Rims out. He's 0 for 2 from beyond the arc now. Yeah, nice, nice momentum shift for Prolific to start this quarter. I'm sure the coaching staff, Bernardi and Caleb and Matt, all broke it down to them on what they needed, and they've responded with a big time kind of heart and, and effort response in the first minute and a half. Trey Green to Missy. Over to Tyron Stokes. Aiden Holloway grabs separation. Holloway knew it from the second he released it. That was a great rebound by Colin Tanner. Kind of caught Missy by surprise, I think. Demery Jr., the pop and stop from the elbow. Falls off the front. Yeah, that's a good shot for Silas. Got to his spot, just couldn't connect. Trey Green weaving blocked by Rakees. Passmore. Great job by Passmore. It looked like Green kind of had him a little bit on the initial move, but the athletic recovery ability of Passmore is, uh, is pretty unique. Trey Green only stands at six foot, but he'll run around the court like he stands at six six. He'll square up with absolutely anybody and, and win a battle. And like I said, generously listed at six foot. Green quickly into the other sharpshooter, Aiden Holloway. Holloway to Tyron Stokes, spinning on the pivot. Oh Stokes with God. the jam. Off Burton. They wanted to travel. Actually looked like he put the foot down, but what a play from Stokes. Just an athletic difference maker. He'll put you on a highlight reel, that's for sure. Kendall Campbell. Yeah. And honestly, Combine got bailed out because Kendall Campbell completely missed a wide open Colin Tanner from the corner for three. And Coach Bernardi does not like that call one bit. He thought that Nwoko was straight up. So a chance at the line for Kendall Campbell. 6'8 senior. Didn't play in yesterday's game. Gets the start here as he knocks the first one down. And a big free throw right there for him. Sensley back on for Prolific. He's passed more off for Combine. Combine's got a big lineup on the floor to match the size of Prolific. Prolific same, Sensley at the two at 6'8". Colin Tanner playing the two for Combine at 6'6". Splits the free throws. Newolko with the rebound. Tyron Stokes in the front court, looking for the alley-oop and almost a spike. There's a miscommunication there with Eve Missy and uh, Sensley. They got, there was a little congestion over there up above the rim. The long two for Flowers is off. Sensley with the rebound. Here comes Aiden Holloway and company. Shifty behind the back. Holloway picks up the screen. Aiden Holloway to the cup. The body control ability of Holloway is just so special. Floating, weaving through traffic. Silas Demery Jr. coast to coast. He says anything you can do, I can do better. Timeout called by Mike Wright. And the stars are shining at the John Wall. The crowd is filling up. It is electric in here. This has been awesome. Back down to a one possession game. 26-23. Prolific leads it. The water boy is into it. Hold on. He's, he's wild, he's wild. This is also his mixtape song, he's wild. He was shushing the crowd yesterday, Dave. It was unbelievable. 4.38 left, 
full timeout. Both these teams trying to get things organized. And now we're in a situation where this final stretch for Combine, they're down three. They're about to be on defense. They got to find a way to maintain the momentum and maintain the pressure that they're applying on Prolific. And for Prolific, it's we have to find a way to go on a run. We have two of the best guards in America, an elite, elite backcourt that are elite at shot creation and shot making. It's time for them to say, hey, we need to go on a run. We need our horses to carry us. We'll see what team's able to dictate the response right here as they come back out. And Prolific has pretty much done it all without Michael Duoco on the offensive side of the ball. Crowd up and dancing. Oh, the kids love Uzi, baby. So do I. Trey Green. Stops at the wing. Green feeding to Michael Luoco. Backing down. And a block from Trenton Flowers. But it'll be goaltending. Yeah. Flowers swatted that one away. So basket will count. Combine back to work, down two possessions. Ricky's pass more. Over to Trenton Flowers. Ruta Asa White, right back to Silas Demery Jr. Flowers fakes, shot from the baseline off the side of the rim. Four minutes left in the second quarter. Tyron Stokes. Yes, as Stokes continues to develop, if he can develop the consistent perimeter jump shot to keep the defense honest, it will change things completely for his game. Stokes gets it to Nuwoko. He was forced out of bounds, has to rifle it up to Aiden Holloway, now gives it to Trey Green. Green grabs a stroke screen. Dribbling back with the right hand, giving it up to Senslay for three. Senslay, his first big shot, goes off the support. They call a foul? It went off the support slap. I no, I think the official called a foul. Oh. And we'll see. Yeah, Mike talking it with the referee. So the foul listed on Michael Nuoco. Yeah, I think they, they scored offsetting on both he and, um, I want to say Campbell. Either way, Combine right back with it, a deep three for Flowers. It's off, Rakees Passmore with the physical rebound, the athletic effort up to the cup, misses it for the first time. Flowers picks up the loose ball. Trent Flowers slings it up to Silas Demery Jr. He'll look back to the bench. Wright will give him a call. Demery Jr., the kick. Rakees pass more from the right wing, too strong. What a rebound from Stokes. Here comes Prolific. Aiden Holloway, quick to corral it. The feed, Michael Nuoco in the paint. What a pass from Holloway, down low to Nuoco for the basket. Wow. High level guard play. Both these teams going at it right now. Demery Jr. weaving around traffic. His shot's off. It'll he, stay with Combine. He kind of stayed, he kind of gathered that ball in a weird way. Like, it wasn't a clean gather on the shot. Eves Missy. Back into the game, Colin Tanner coming in for Asa White. Two twenty-five left in the first half. Prolific has pulled away as of late. The three-point ball has not been falling for Combine. A quick inbound, Flowers picks it up. 
but a turnover. Big stretch here. Big stretch of basketball right here. Last 220. Combine's got to find a way to keep this game where it is. Or get it narrowed down. Prolific looking to extend and try to take the will away. Bring it around. Rakees pass more, but the block off the window from Trenton Flowers. Now back the other way. It's Combine Academy and a big bucket for Colin Tanner. He's provided some great minutes off the bench Absolutely. for the Goats. Stokes hits a wall, gives it up to Green. Right back to Tyron Stokes in the crowd, Razor. And now we're getting back and forth here. Here comes Demery. Heavy pace, stripped away by Green. Combine trying to fight right back forward. Aiden Holloway stops on a dime. Aiden Holloway for three, rims out. Out of bounds, last touch by Combine. Yeah, Prolific is doing a great job right now, keeping possessions alive and winning the 50-50 battles. Silas Demery doesn't get his pocket picked a lot. Trey Green found a way to do it right there. Minute 37 left. Don't think it's a full timeout. I think it's a 30-second timeout, so they'll stay up. Chaos. A very fast-paced, quick, crazy run. A breather. Prolific Rep takes the timeout in full control right now as we near the end of the first half. A minute 37 and a point lead. Foul's not playing a factor here. No, not really. It's been a good, clean, officiated game for the most part. Referees letting them play. It's been pretty consistent at both ends of the floor. Reminder for the people coming up after this, Jared McCain is back taking on Dylan Harper and Don Bosco prep, and then after that, the other semifinal of the Devontae Grand Bracket, a battle between two of our blue bloods in this state, Millbrook and Farmville. The excitement continues throughout the rest of the night. Combine looking for a good finish to the end of this quarter. Giving it up to Stokes. He hit a wall. So Aiden Holloway will reset wow. a big time deep three. Aiden Holloway, the splashdown. Aiden Holloway has been brilliant tonight. What a shot for Holloway. Prolific starting to gain some control. Combine still hanging around. They got to get a basket here and narrow this deficit sooner rather than later. Demery Jr., bit of pressure on him. Wraps around a screen. Nuoko switches. Flowers gives it up off the wing. Demery Jr. sets a screen. Nwoko once again with the switch and the big time block from Missy. Aiden Holloway, one on one, gives it up to Stokes and Stokes couldn't corral it. This is a war on the sidelines and on the floor right now. It's a 10 point lead for Prolific Prep. Pass more. Trying to back down Green. Gives it up to Flowers. Can't find an entry through the perimeter. Silas Demery Jr. Aiden Holloway closely on him, working right back around Demery Jr. from the elbow, and he'll be fouled. This foul on we'll look at rep number 23, Michael Nwoko, that's his third. It's Nwoko's third. Only the fifth team foul, so Nwoko really the only one in some foul trouble right now, and that could come into play huge later down the stretch. Definitely, can you say it was the second or his third there, Dave? Third. Wow. It could be a factor. Very, very intrigued. There's a cover on the lid. Right now for Combine Academy, nothing going through the rim. Yeah, in a, in a dry spell right now, they gotta find a way to muster up some offense. And defensively, I mean, I think they've done a pretty good job, but there's only so much you can do when it comes to limiting Aiden Holloway and, and, and Trey Green and Big Stokes. Demery Jr. able to connect. First points in a while for Combine. 22 seconds, full court press on. Green brings it down with the right hand. Flowers trying to push it back over to the half court line, unable to do so. Green. And prolific, looking to hold for the last shot. Green up to the bucket, and he is fouled. Mm -hmm. 8.2 left. They, the, the beauty of, it's, it's, 
it's very much like a Dame and CJ effect with these two. Because, and they're different players, but the same kind of like, good luck containing one of us, let alone both of us. And that, there's only so much you can do when you have two dynamic off the dribble creators like this, surrounded by athletes with size. That got tipped. Prolific calling for the clock to get going. It never was started. So we'll see if the officials try to correct it. They're saying they should take some time off the clock, which is correct. If it got deflected. It should um, take about two seconds off. I don't know about, maybe not two, but it's probably just one. One second. 1.4 is what they took off. 6.8. Still plenty of time for Prolific to get a quality look. Webb Wellman on the stream clock. You'll love to see it. There's never a question if it's right at home. It's just no. a question whether it's right in the gym. Facts. Dave Home. He put that in his Holloway. pocket. Holloway. Two back. defenders around him. Aiden Holloway. A big time bucket to finish the first half. Prolific into halftime with a double digit lead. What a job by Aiden Holloway to close that second quarter. I think we're about to turn it to Anthony Simmons for a quick halftime breakdown before we take a break. We'll be back with you guys in a little bit right after Simmons. End of the second quarter, 38-26 prolific. At the end of the first quarter, I told you adjustments were going to be made. You got to tip your hat off to Ryan Bernardi and prolific prep. It started in the post. It, they're just too strong right now for Combine. Combine wasn't able to keep him off the glass. Combine wasn't able to stop him from getting easy baskets, dunks and layups. Then towards the end of the quarter, Trey Green and Biz put on the absolute show at the end of the second quarter. Right now, Combine down 12. Some adjustments will be made in the third quarter. They have to make a run in the first two minutes of the third quarter to make it interesting in the fourth. T.J. Warren bracket, game two. 38-26, prolific prep is rolling.
Welcome back for the start of the second half here at Holiday Gym. The John Wall Holiday Invitational. Day three has been electric. There's 16 minutes to decide who will play Word of God in the TJ Warren final. Combine Academy got off to a hot start. But since about halfway through the first quarter, it has been all prolific prep. Aiden Holloway, 14 points, only player in double digits, 60% from the three-point line, 50% from the field. He has shown out and the only player for prolific that's been on the floor for all 16 minutes. Yeah, and I I'll keep him out there for 35 out of 32 minutes of the way he's played tonight. Prolific, 18 to six run for the entirety of the second quarter. Now we'll see how Silas Demery Jr. responds. Two for nine from the field right now, only eight points. We'll see what he does. We know he's not going to go down easy. He's one of the best guards in America. There is Demery giving it to Colin Tanner over to Rakees. Pass more. Pass more. Back up to Silas. Big stretch for the first half of this quarter. Silas Demery Jr. with Asa White. Couldn't connect on the dunk. That's a big blow right there. They could have had that. And then Stokes has it knocked out. It would have been a great way to get things started. But Combine, they were hoping to leave the second quarter in the past, but unfortunately picked up right where they left off. The inbounds into Nuoko. To Missy. Right over to Aiden Holloway. The Auburn commit sends it in. Michael Nuoko pounds the floor. Nuoko too strong. Flowers with the rebound. And yeah, here he comes. Need some more production out of Trenton Flowers in the second half of your combine. Flowers hits a second gear, but Michael Nuoko smacks the ball out of bounds. Just a big time player, Nuoko is. Going to play for Jim Laranega at Miami. 6'9. Just a big time player. Demery Jr. up over Aiden Holloway. Hits the net, Ricky's pass more, can't corral it before it hits the baseline. Frustration on the miss and the lack of ability to corral the basketball for Combine. So Nuoko inbound it for prolific prep. Mm -hmm. Out of Napa Valley, California, makes the trip to the other side of the country. A lot of North Carolina natives on this team. Tyron Stokes enters the perimeter, cuts back to the left, spins to the right. Tyron Stokes couldn't find the finish. A little out of control. Uh-oh. Pass Ricky's more. Pass more. Oh, my he goodness. Had it, he had his grip taken away by Trey Green. Was able to get it back, and Trey Green drives from California to Raleigh. Good point. Trey Green. What a take. Tanner. He's been the best three-point shooter Combine's had, and they have got to keep beating him beyond the perimeter. That is a timely shot. Pace of this is picking up. Holloway almost thought he was about to pull up for the answer. This is getting good, folks. Here is Holloway from the top of the key. Off the back of the iron, rebounded by this, Stokes. It's a fight for the ball and a whistle. This game is becoming a physical battle. Both teams want this one bad. Combine doing what they can to navigate it back. Tanner with a big three last time down. He's now three for five from beyond the arc. The skip into Aiden Holloway. Holloway, the step back over Silas Demery Jr. and he's not missing that one. Aiden Holloway. Aiden Holloway, 17 on the game. I don't know what to say, folks. Players make plays. Aiden Holloway with the snatch cross for three. Pass one, Miss Tanner in rhythm. Silas Demery Jr. Him and Aiden Holloway have been battling all game long as there's a foul. Yeah, Silas trying to work, get to the paint, get to where he's comfortable. Draws a foul right there. It's Trey Green's first foul. First to the half for Prolific. The step back, Rakees pass more off the inbound, couldn't find it. Yeah, that would have been a big one. Big possession here defensively for Combine. Need a stop, can't let it get to 13, or 14 or 15. 
Got to keep it out of that man's hands right there. Aiden Holloway, but the big time alley-oop. Throw it down, Tyron Stokes. That was a one-hand pass on a line from 40 feet. What a play from Holloway and momentum shifter. Demery Jr., the kick to Passmore for three. Trenton Flowers couldn't come down with it. Trey Green up and under. It's all prolific Green. prep right now. Prolific is putting on a show. The stars are shining. Stokes Green and Holloway have been magnificent. Demery Jr. hits the deck and a foul comes with it. Debo called to the foul. Debo committed to Brown. Had a couple other offers. A little Ivy League action for the people. Read your books at home, folks. He also had an offer from Harvard. That'll do it. Tanner drives it in. Passmore, the fake, right back to Colin Tanner. And Tanner connects, he's got four triples in the game. Colin Tanner is saving Combine right now. Still down 13. There's a, there's, a, there's a way for them to get back into this game. But Colin Tanner has been the one keeping them alive. Clutch shot making from the Richmond Spider. Colin Tanner playing like the most elite sixth man you'll find. And he ended up starting the second half. and. Um, yeah, it's just been, been crazy. Been big time, big time stuff here for Colin Tanner. Four minutes, 31 seconds. Prolific prep up heavy in the score column. Three fouls over the first three minutes and 29 seconds. Two on prolific, one on combine. The Goats. They'll head out of the timeout. Mike Wright trying to set this group up for success. But a lot of the playmakers for the GOATs have gone quiet. It's been all Colin Tanner. And the star on the other side, Aiden Holloway. He's been running this prolific offense. Shifts back, enters from the wing. Holloway the dish to Tyron Stokes. Now back outside the perimeter to Trey Green. Back to the right, Green, open space. Trey Green, the easy lay. Big time take for Trey Green. Just finding a way. Hasn't had a ton of outside shots tonight, but he's going to the basket with some serious, serious purpose. Halfway through the third. Silas caught in a trap. Gives it up to Hagedorn. We'll give it right back. Silas turns on the Jets, was looking for the Euro step and loses it. Combine just can't buy a basket right now from anybody but Colin Tanner. The activity on the defensive end with the hands that we're seeing from Green and Holloway. Swinging possessions for Prolific. Nuoko on for Missy. Aiden Holloway driving coast to coast. Aiden Holloway is showing out in the semifinal game with a TJ Warren bracket. Bruce Pearl's got a smile on his face right now. He loves it. Flowers through the lane. Flowers is foul. Travel. Check that. Prolific size underneath is overwhelming Trenton Flowers when he's going to the basket right now. Sensley back in for Prolific. He'll stand for the inbound pass. Right up to Tyron Stokes. Stokes some momentum running downhill. Tyron Stokes coast to coast for the jam. A freshman. A freshman. Tyron yep. Stokes. Just a reminder for y'all. That's a freshman. Check the books. He is a freshman. He's 15 years old, man. Passmore in combine is just trying to find any way to get it up to the rim right now. Team foul. 
Combine needs a serious run to get back into this game. Full timeout called by Prolific. Three oh three left in the third. Prolific has continued to extend upon the lead. Almost 20 points. Looking to close it out early. But Combine, still a chance to give the fans what they came for. Man, they've, they've scored 14 points since the end of the first quarter. It has been just tough, tough, tough sledding for Combine offensively. Outside of Colin Tanner, it's been nearly impossible for them to get anything consistent at that end of the floor. Credit to Prolific. Credit to the defensive scheme and the game planning from the coaching staff and the execution of it by the players. They've been absolutely marvelous tonight. And uh, Combine's got to find a way to get another trick up their sleeves to get it done. Mike Wright's group breaks the huddle first. Brian Bernardi still chirping away. A couple teams and coaches heading into the building. Larry Wilford, all business tonight. They got a big one to end the night. Farmville and Millbrook, gonna be a move. Chris Davis recently just walking on the baseline as well. They're both in-house. That'll be the nightcap. Trent Flowers exchanged a shoulder check to Senselay and he's Still kind of looking around, wondering why that was. Asa White, haven't seen much of him. Flowers, two men on him. Flowers spinning, Trent Flowers off the front of the rim. Missed it short, Flowers didn't get enough on it. Green, the step back for three. That was a quick one. Here comes Passmore, or not Passmore, excuse me, Tanner. Colin Tanner coast to coast and he finds a bucket. He's been their best player today. First time Aiden Holloway has been off the floor for Prolific. Trey Green picks up the duties at the top of the key. Green enters. Up to Debo. Now to Stokes spinning. Tyron Stokes lost it. Drew, draw, drew a foul right there. Stokes, when he gets downhill with his size and shiftiness, it's a dangerous, dangerous sight. He spun around to the blink of an eye. Got to think every single college coach in the building has eyes on him. Yeah, no, nah, for real, for real. He's got some, some offers. Big time, big time prospect in that class, like I said. Stokes misses the first. He hasn't impressed with his free throw shooting. No, and oddly enough, the day I went to prolific practice, he couldn't miss threes. Like, he shot the cover off the ball. It's like, Ryan, what lab did you get this guy from? <laughs> uh, he said he got him from Kentucky, uh, which he did. But uh, regardless, he, he's not a consistent shooter, but he has the ability to heat up. So I'm intrigued to see when that starts to get more consistent for him. Asa White with the travel. Doesn't feel like Combine's been able to get off a clean shot since the first. No, nah, they're completely out of rhythm right now. Completely, completely. Aiden Holloway back into the game. He sends it up to Sensley. Who will give it right back up. Aiden Holloway, 19 points. Look at him dance. So shifty. You can see Flowers getting a talking to. A little bit of extracurricular with Aiden Holloway. Aiden Holloway's like, look, bro, I don't care that it didn't count. That's a buck. <laughs> like, it is what it is. Kendall Campbell. Back into the lineup. Asa White to the goat bench. He's passed more, gets a screen. Aiden Holloway dribbling through traffic. The pull up from the elbow is no good. That would have been a tough one. 
tuck it to the belly and drive through Silas Demery Jr. Yeah, Demery might be a little gimpy. But he's all right, looks like he's good. 15 point game, big minute and a half stretch here. Wrote these teams. Tyron Stokes, the Euro step, no foul in the bucket. Yeah, that was a fringe call. Pass more to Colin Tanner, to Flowers. An open look and Flowers splashes it through. This could be the start Combine yeah, was looking for. They need him to get going. That's a big shot, 14 point game, hanging around. Need a stop here though. Back to back makes on trip down the left side of the floor for Combine. Aiden Holloway draws the foul. Frustration that he couldn't get that one to hit the bottom of the net. A little snake of the ball screen. Holloway weaving through. Got the defender in the hostage situation. And now he'll have a couple free throws. It's the first. Mike Wright giving a stern talking to to Colin Tanner. Zayden Holloway buries the second. Forty-four seconds. Pass more for three at the top of the key. Ricky's pass more back-to-back -back triples for Combine. Combine not wavering, continuing to fight down 13, 35 left in the third. Continuing to chip away. Lead was as much as 19. He's about to attack this ma matchup right here. I don't think he's gonna even have a ball screen set. We'll see. 20 seconds. Right back to Aiden Holloway. Shifts back to the left. Holloway to Green, pump fakes, drives, Green. He's looking for Missy, and Missy is fouled. Missy gonna go to the line, kind of a broken play, but prolific, provided the effort that they needed to get the basketball back. And now, looks like big Missy. Eve Missy, one of the best players in the country, will have a couple free throws. It's the first. Ben Jenkins into the game for the first time tonight. Missy connects on both. Seven seconds for Combine. Demery Jr. Foul on the baseline. Sideline, excuse me. Oh yeah, you're good. Actually kind of a smart foul there. Glad everybody's all right. Um, four, not close to the bonus quite yet. Five seconds. Now Rakis has got to get one. Rakis pass more the pull up for three at the horn off the back of the rim. All right, end of the third quarter. We're about to turn it to Simmons for the third quarter breakdown right here, right now. End of the third quarter, 59-44, prolific prep. Kind of the same as the second quarter. Prolific prep and their interior size has just been too much for combine, when you're talking 50-50 plays, you're talking loose balls on the floor, Prolific Previce has been extremely physical, and they've got it done. You can tell they really want to win this game for Ryan Bernardi. For combine to get back into this game, I think what they have to understand is they're doubling every ball screen they're called. So every time Silas Demery Jr. calls for a ball screen, they're doubling it, and they haven't made an adjustment. I think now in the fourth quarter, if you're combine, you have to spread it out, you have to play five out, and you have to do things without a ball screen, and I hope that Trenton Flowers, Rakeem Fastmore, and Silas Demery Jr. can hit some three-point shots. It's go time, it's the fourth quarter, TJ Warren bracket, game two, prolific wrap up on uh, big on combine, 59-44. Oh, how we doing, Mark? Uh, I'm doing great, a little sore, but that's it. Got you, got you. Uh, tell me about this game right here. Uh, this game right here, um, we played combine, we lost, but uh, we're down two, two of our, our key players. Uh, I wasn't playing, and also Makai Graham wasn't playing. Uh, okay. I think we lost by three, maybe. I don't got really you. remember. Here we go, let's move uh, a little bit. Last question, last question. One out of 10, how shifty is Biz? 10. He did. Okay, heard you. We out, we out. Hugo and Simmons carry the quarter once again.
Who's Hugo got down there? He had Mamayar Wall. You got it, Dave. Start of the fourth. Prolific in Missy. To Trey Green. Still a sizable lead. Green around Passmore. Feeds to Missy, and Missy is fouled. Trey Green with the ball fake up in the air. Had three guys jumping. Able to draw a ton of contact. Just foul number four, Kent, Kent, hit second. To Missy. Now have a couple free throws here. Prolific. As time continues to tick away and they continue to add points, the likelihood of them closing this deal and moving on to the championship versus Word of God is growing. Number 15, Missy. Emil, Emil Jefferson in the building. National champion at Duke, assistant coach now. Good to see him get elevated on the recruiting road for him. Out of bounds, staying with prolific prep. Combine has been unable to secure some basketballs. The inbound to Missy under the basket. Brian Bernardi's livid. of the one and one for prolific prep. Missy straight back to the line after splitting the free throws. It's the first. Seven thirty-four. Missy's second from the charity stripe clanks off. Combine needs a spark and a run right now. Flowers. Almost taken away by Trey yeah, that Green. Was, that was very close to being a botched exchange. Emory Jr. was able to pull it down into Trenton Flowers. Flowers able to get it off the glass. Great, great job by Demory Jr. Cutting Holloway off and forcing that travel. Flowers was able to get a basket. 14 point game, now combine. Can get it get the deficit narrowed just a little bit more on this possession. Still so much time, but they're gonna have to play nearly perfect on the stretch to pull this off. Flowers, the bounce pass inbound to Silas Demery Jr. Jr. spins under, waits patiently, and is able to find the layup. Great post work for Silas. 8 Aiden Holloway, gonna take it up himself. Holloway missed on the short side, now combine. The breakaway, Rakees Passmore up over Debo. It's becoming a basketball game. Combine fighting, almost got a steal right there. Here they go. Trey Green weaving around defenders for the alley-oop. The momentum right back with Tyron Stokes and Prolific. What a play by Stokes, the freshman running the floor, getting rewarded. Prolific back up 12. Flowers spins. Drops a man, Stokes hit the deck. The second chance from Kendall Campbell. That was a fall. gimme, a gimme that Campbell has to make at this point in the game. Green, the misdirection. And Green draws the foul. Wow. Pace is picking up. You could tell the a level of fight that these two teams are showing in this one. on the first. Mason Hagedorn coming in for Campbell. Michael Nwoko, who has four fouls. He checks back in with 6.17 left. Debo heads to the bench. It's the second. Big free throws for Trey Green. Gonna be so good to Xavier, man. 
such a winner. 14 point game. Hagedorn hey, looks to make it 11. Can't rebound Silas Demery Jr. under the bucket. Demery Jr. up over Michael Nwoko. Timeout on the floor. Going back and forth down the stretch. And coming up next, want to remind you guys, Don Bosco prep out of New Jersey. Dylan Harper getting ready to take on Corona Centennial with Jared McCain. Going to be a fun one. Excited to see which of the two big strong guards kind of establish themselves. John Shire in the building like he has been every day so far. And it looks like some of the Duke players are here. Jalen Blake's in the building. Jaden Shutt in the building. Always good to see Jeremy Roach here as well. So they're here to check out their future teammate, Jared McCain, which will be fun. And it's going to be an exciting matchup between two of the best guards in America. It absolutely should be. And Miles and I will be bringing you that one right back here on the Hoop State Network, 10 minutes following the conclusion of this one. But prolific prep. Still in a battle with Combine Academy. Being pesky, they won't go away. Uh-oh. Tyron Stokes, baseline jam. What he, he, he needs to start paying rent above the rim because he lives there. This is bananas. Demery Jr. He's fouled on the way up. I think if you're going to describe Silas Demery's performance in one word tonight, it's relentless. Hasn't always been pretty, but he just continues to come in waves and try to apply pressure with his team down 14 with the game winding to a close, just doing whatever he can to give his team a chance. Asai, the spin of the ball, and the first one through. Nagy Doran out, Asa White in. Junior. Connects on both. 12 point game. Full court press here, looking for a steal from Trey Green. How Green able to recollect it, the back door find to Missy, and it'll go out of bounds. How did he figure that one out? He was weaving through. The spatial awareness was Tight ridiculous. Tight spaces there, bud. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Into Aiden Holloway. Michael Nuoko. Asa White coming in for help, and Asa White will foul. Mike wanted to travel. It was close, but Mike Nuoko, man, when he came, when I first saw him, when he first came to North Carolina, he had some rawness to him. He wasn't quite close to a finished product, and now he's finding himself college ready. And it's happened pretty fast. Credit to Bernardi with him, what he's done at TBS, and, and now prolific credit to Team Loaded staff the first summer and the Team CP3 staff the second summer he was here. Canadian big, played on the national team as well. I'm sure that experience was very valuable to him. And he went eight for eight yesterday. Hasn't been quite as loud today, but he has been integral to this win if they're able to close it out. He knocks down the free throws. 5.20 to go. Combine running out of time. Demery Jr. to Colin Tanner. Picks it up. The jump shot inside the corner won't go. Asa White picking up the rebound, sending it up to Silas Demery Jr. for three, and he rattles it through. Big shot by Demery Jr. Now Combine needs to stop. They're going to extend some pressure. It's an 11 point game. a foul on Demery Jr. Goes number five, Silas Demery Jr. Now his fourth. That's the fourth on Demery. Uh, four on Silas. I think you kind of have no choice but to just let him go. Under five to go. One of your key playmakers. It's the first of the one and one. This will be the last time Prolific will see a one and one. From this point out, double bonus. 
But I agree, I don't think there's anybody that you can put in that can give you the production of Demery. You risk fouling out, but Campbell hasn't had it. Hagedorn hasn't been able to find the bottom of the net. Rakis pass more. Too strong. No call on Nwoko. He pushed him in the back. Passmore should have still made that though. I was just about to say like, he's got to find a way to connect on that. Still a lot of time left, 12 point game. We'll see what we got. It's been a slow moving fourth quarter. Still time for Combine to hang around. It definitely is. It's dwindling though. Aiden Holloway, I don't know if there's a guy I'd want in the country more dribbling the clock out than this guy. Holloway. Between the legs, into the perimeter, steps back out. He's going to take his time here and attack the mismatch. Also sent two, which he just did. Give it to Stokes, the wide open lane for Missy. What a play. Prolific, providing the spacing and attacking the middle for two. Combine, feel like they need to be perfect. Here's a three from Tanner, it's off. Aiden Holloway with the rebound. Decides not to give it up to Dagger Stokes, time. instead to give it up to Trey Green. He misses. Missy, the big rebound, Nuoko pulling it right back down, and it slips off his hands. Colin Tanner finds it on the floor. They Rikis. need this. Pass more from the wing, can't get it. Couldn't get it, couldn't get it. They need to stop now. Aiden Holloway's playing chess out there, not checkers. Wow. Holloway, the misdirection back down the baseline, didn't have enough spin. Demery Jr. feeds to Tanner. Tanner works back out to the outside of the perimeter. They gotta go. Passmore shifts back to the left. Rakees Passmore, you're up, step through the lane, the back door cut, but it's Ravel. Took the extra step, didn't need it. Unforced errors, turnovers, big mistakes. The combine just has not looked the same since the first quarter. Looks like the prolific man trying to pick something up that fell off the sideline. Cleaning something up over there. Took three of their guys to get it up. Aiden Holloway, working slowly, burning clock. To Michael Nuoko. To Stokes. Oh, wow. A spin from Missy, and Missy with the bucket. That's why he's top 10, top 15, folks. Missy at 6'10 with a strong spin move. Leaving everybody dizzy in the gym. Demery Jr. The deep two. He's played extensive minutes and had a high load of volume. Wonder if the legs gave out on that short miss. Woko was looking for the emphatic putback instead. Yeah. Campbell comes down with it. Flowers, the step back three. Stokes in his face and the bank is open for Trent Flowers. Had to get that one to go. Had to get that one to go. 73-60 the count. Place is filling up almost completely there. And now we got a timeout called. We'll see which of these teams can find a way to close it out. Really prolific is in total control. 13 point lead. I think for them, they just have to play smart and sound instead of trying to make the home run play. Draw some clock. Make sure you take 35 seconds or so on each possession. Combine's got to find a way to scramble. And, uh, and, and throw some different looks and, and hopefully force a turnover for their sake. If not, they're not gonna find a way to get a win. So the winner of this game, if prolific, can hold it out, awaits word of God in the TJ Warren Championship game. The loser will face Winston-Salem Christian. Yep. Either way, still a, a tough road no matter which way you go. Yeah, for sure going to be difficult. Yeah. 
So 224 left to play. Green bouncing around. Green into the paint. See, like that's what they don't need. They don't need the home run play. Just need the burn clock. Hagedorn to Demery Jr. just inside the charity straight and a splash. They gotta get up. Tyron Stokes picks it up. Spin Stokes foul. Not a bad foul. He struggled from the line, like. Could be hack of Stokes for a little bit. First time we've seen Eric Harding into the game for Combine. He'll commit his first foul. Rakees Passman, we're ready to come back into the game. Ryan Bernardi talking it over with two of his sharpshooters, Aiden Holloway and Trey Green, giving them pats on the back before they head back. And Harding traded in favor of Rakees Passmore. Stokes hits it. They're at the point where they don't even need him to make both. They just need him to make one. Minute 45. Demery Jr. to Hagedorn. Now to Passmore in the corner off the baseline. Throws it up right back for Silas Demery. Trenton Flowers into the paint. Flowers fouled. Count the bucket. Give him a chance at the charity strike for three. Flowers with the push crossover. Got the separation needed. Took it all the way to the cup. Strong right hand finish with the bump. Chance to make it a nine point game with 1.31 to go. Flowers with one shot. Can't connect, that's huge. Yep. Holloway maneuvering his way up the court, gives it to Green. Flowers was trying to snipe it, and that leaves an unopened man. The putback from Missy. Missy has been so good tonight. He wasn't able to practice when I went out and watched him, so being able to watch him this weekend has been a treat. Hagedorn draws a blocking foul, Trey Green called. That foul on the Bruce number three, Trey Green, just his second. Only Green's second. Still chances for Combine. Yep, it's gonna be tough down 12 with a minute five left, barring something unforeseen. I don't see any way they can do this, but it was a great fight, but the, the size on the inside was too much, and they just didn't get enough early shot making from Tanner, or beyond Tanner, and that was it. 55 seconds, Trent Flowers backing down Aiden Holloway, just waiting. Michael Nuoko over Hagedorn, Nuoko off the glass. That's a grown man basket, man. That's a grown man basket from Mike Nuoko. He has been so good for this group really coming into his own. Tanner shifting around, didn't pull the trigger on the first one. Hagedorn will pull it here and he knocks it down. First points of the game for Mason Hagedorn. Yep. It's not enough time. I think the realization is set in here. They're gonna do what they can, but just couldn't quite get it done. Couldn't quite get it done. Prolific, word of God, championship. Let's hope Freddie DeLeon and uh, Gavin Cosby drink their Pedialyte, eat their bananas, and they're good to go. Because they had some cramping issues today. Um, and now we got Prolific. Looking like they're 28.6 away from moving on to the championship. And then we got the semifinals of the Devontae Graham bracket coming up after this. First up, Don Bosco prep out of New Jersey, led by Dylan Harper, taking on Jared McCain and Corona Centennial out of California. And then after that, the in-state battle, two of the Blue Bloods, Millbrook and Farmville, gonna go at it for the nightcap. That one should be a high-flying, high-paced. Yes, it should. Just a crazy battle of publics. Yes, it should. So you won't want to miss it. You won't want to miss any of the rest of the action from day three. Nope. 
as prolific, 28 points, six away from moving on to the T.J. Warren final. Smile from Ryan Bernardi. As he looks yeah, to I'd be smiling if I were him too. Continues to remain undefeated at the wall. Yep, eight no now. He can hang on to this. Want to give credit to a couple of the mainstays on his staff too that have been there with it. Caleb Vandenberg, Matt Handy. Both been there since the Burlington Christian days. And are now on the verge of winning eight in a row. Holloway still fighting. Spinning off different defenders and flowers. Will foul. Yep. On the ghost, number one, Trenton Flowers is four. Colin Tanner and Mason Hagenhorn ready to check back in. All but a formality for Aiden Holloway. Um, we, have, we have a couple more OBS games tonight or just one more? We got to get Hugo to interview old boy on the sideline uh, with the with the shiesty mask with the white details. That's We got to hear what he has to say. Holloway missed off the left side. The tables are gone for day three. I think there are too many that we got flipped. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to ask Bill as the reason behind that, but I actually like the feel of it. Felt like when the tables, every time I looked over, somebody was having to pick it up to stand up. Well, yeah, because everyone was reacting to all the crazy moments that have been <laughs> happening here just with no regard for anything with their surroundings. So it's part of it. It's part of it, though. Seventeen seconds. Colin Tanner still fighting the drop back for Trenton Flowers. Holloway. He'll be fouled with seven seconds left. Combine just fighting till the end. Mm -hmm. Doing what they can to uh, extend the game. Colin Tanner. Now his turn. Eight Holloway two. More shots. Holloway hits. Yeah, Holloway put this one on ice. Got to think to the guys in the Auburn Orange in the corner over here. They're liking what they see out of their future commit. Oh, they love it. They love it. Absolutely. They have every reason to. Demery Jr., I guess they'll bring it up. Three seconds, Demery Jr. can't hit it. Flowers at the buzzer, it won't count. 81 to 69, your final prolific prep set to take on Word of God in the T.J. Warren final. As Combine Academy looks for third place against Winston-Salem Christian. For myself, David Katzenmeyer, and Miles Massacola, we'll be back in 10 minutes. Centennial taking on Don Bosco Prep right here on the Hoops State Network.